This is exactly the item you were thinking about. Archaeologists have discovered a human glass brain in an ancient Neolithic settlement. Scientists have unraveled the real purpose of the artifact from ancient Rome and uncovered the secret of the basil mummy. Watch the video until the end to find out about other archaeological finds that will surprise you. Hi friend, you're on the Kurtop channel. Glass Brain A unique find and the only one of its kind was discovered by archaeologists during their excavations in Italy. The eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD it was a disaster for a huge number of people. The Roman cities of Pompeii, Herculaneum, and Stabiae were completely covered with lava and volcanic ash. Archaeologists are still excavating here trying to find something interesting. This time they were lucky. They found a real human glass brain. The thermal energy released during the eruption was 500 times greater than the release during the explosion of the atomic bomb over Hiroshima. The remains of a 25-year-old man from Herculaneum who died in the eruption of Mount Vesuvius were discovered in the 1960s. His his body was found in a small room in the College of Augustus, a structure dedicated to the Emperor Octavian Augustus. The guy's body was on the bed and, judging by his posture, he was sleeping at the time of death. To conduct the research and study of ancient artifacts, researchers have to study everything bit by bit. Archaeologists, without hesitation, decided to open the guy's skull and found inside a piece of glass into which the brain had turned. No similar glazing was observed in other parts of the body. The Analyses show that the material in the skull is indeed a human brain. Characteristic fatty acids were found in the glass fragments. They could not get into the skull from the outside. There were no traces of them nearby. According to the charred remains of a tree, scientists found that the temperature in this place reached 520 degrees Celsius. The fat in the man's body literally ignited and the soft tissues evaporated. After that, the temperature around it dropped sharply, which led to the glazing of the remains of the brain. Light man turned into a spongy mass, which was also not observed in other remains. Scientists have already seen a similar situation with the lungs in the victims of more modern tragic events, such as the fires in Dresden and Hamburg during World War II. Let's move on from the glass brain to glass tools. Volcanic glass stone axes Ethiopia is a great place for a detailed study of our distant ancestors. On the territory of this country, archaeologists have found many remains of Homo sapiens and their tools. So recently, scientists from the Sapienza University of Rome discovered in Ethiopia a huge treasure of volcanic glass products. In the valley of the Avash River, 575 obsidian artifacts were found. Their approximate age is 1.2 million years. Among the many obsidian objects, 30 stone axes 11 and a half centimeters long were found. Ancient people used them for cutting, scraping, butchering, and digging. Obsidian tools have very sharp cutting edges, but volcanic glass is brittle and difficult to work without breaking. The oldest such tools in Europe were 500,000 years old, and these turn out to be much older. Ancient Neolithic Settlement I completely missed one small country which, due to its geographical location, has a very ancient history. Archaeologists have discovered the oldest settlement in North Macedonia dating back to the early Neolithic. Judging by radiocarbon analysis, the oldest layers of the Vlaho site date back to 6410-6240 BC. Not later than 10th millennium BC, this region, which was called the Fertile Crescent, became famous for a very important event. During this period, a very important moment in the history of mankind began – Neolithization. This is the period when people stopped hunting and gathering and began to grow everything themselves, that is, agriculture and animal breeding appeared. Later, Neolithization began in Turkey, Greece, and throughout the Balkan Peninsula. And 5,000 years ago, the entire continent was already engaged in agriculture and animal breeding. 
To determine the age of the buildings found here, scientists use accelerator mass spectrometry. For dating, they selected samples of charred grains of cereals. The earliest date obtained showed that the settlement existed around 6410-6240 BC. As you can see, even small grains are important to archaeologists by which they can find out the age of an entire settlement. And the next find is even smaller than grains of cereals, but no less valuable. Treasure of Spices on a Sunken Ship Despite the terrible tragedies and terrible events of the past, archaeologists can now study the ancient world. Off the coast of Sweden, archaeologists have found the ship Grebschenden, which sank here in 1495. The Danish king Johan planned to make a deal with the Swedish ruler Sensor the Elder that would give him complete control over Sweden, as he had previously done with Norway, creating a unified Scandinavian kingdom. However, after landing, the ship caught fire and sank, which was a great loss. It was filled with goods worthy of a rich and powerful ruler. For the first time, the wreckage of the ship was discovered in the 1960s, but then archaeologists were not able to study in detail all the artifacts found deep underwater. The first serious research began in 2019, and the most valuable find were containers with well-preserved plant material containing about 3,000 samples. Scientists were able to identify medieval spices among them. Nutmeg cloves, mustard, dill, saffron, ginger, peppercorns, and almonds. In that era, spices from Southeast Asia were extremely expensive in Europe since the Ottoman Empire blocked the way to them. Also on board were less exotic foods such as dried blackberries, raspberries, grapes, and flax. In addition to them, henbane was found which in the past was used for medicinal purposes, and now it is one of the most poisonous plants in nature. The plant samples were in excellent condition due to the unique conditions and the location where the ship was found, a cold and low salinity part of the Baltic Sea. From precious spices, I will move on to a treasure in a more familiar sense for us. Amateur searchers have found a super treasure. I recently told about one case when amateur archaeologists found a treasure in the UK and instead of telling officials about it and getting a reward, they decided to sell it themselves on the black market. Thus, they paid for it and ended up in prison. In today's story, archaeologists have acted wiser. Treasure hunters found 600 medieval gold and silver coins in Buckinghamshire, which were valued at £150,000. At the moment, this treasure is considered the largest in the UK in the last decade. The authorities have declared it a national treasure, and amateur archaeologists are now entitled to a good reward. They called it Hambledon Treasure. Usually, the searchers were able to find old cartridges, thimbles, and other small metal objects, but at some point, they found a coin, continued to dig, and found another coin, and so on. In four days, they unearthed 627 coins, including 12 ultra rare full gold coins from the Black Death era. During the excavations, the men took turns sleeping in a tent near the pit so that random passers-by would not take the booty. The owner of the territory where the treasure was discovered will also receive a small of the reward from the government. Ancient Roman Dildo this find was discovered back in 1992, and for some reason, then it was not possible to immediately determine what it is. As a result, 30 years later, archaeologists and scientists again decided to study this artifact, which was discovered in the ancient Roman fortified military camp of Vindolanda. It turned out to be the oldest Roman toy for adults. We know from Greek and Roman poetry, Greek and Roman art, that they used dildos. But until that time, archaeologists had not found a single example. After analysis, using a 3D scan of the object, it was found that both ends were smooth compared to the rest of the object. It was previously believed that the artifact was a darning tool, or it was used as a pestle to grind ingredients during cooking or medical procedures. Scientists also recall that in ancient times, phallic-shaped objects were often used to scare away evil spirits. The researchers hope that the find from Vendelanza will serve as an impetus to search for similar items in other collections. In the meantime, it is on display at the Vendelanda Museum. The Blue Lotus Mystery 
There are legends about this beautiful flower, and it grows only in the rivers and lakes of Africa and Asia. The blue lotus, or as it is also called the Egyptian lotus or sacred lotus, has beautiful blue petals and has healing properties. This flower was very popular in ancient Egypt. The Egyptians believed that the water lily helped in wires to the afterlife and communicating with the gods. Also, it is mentioned in the Egyptian Book of the Dead and was considered a symbol of immortality. One of the reasons why the flower was so popular in ancient times is its ability to influence the mind and behavior of a person, just as it expands the scope of perception. In short, it is a powerful hallucinogen. Any ancient Egyptian priest was familiar with the magical powers of the blue lotus. One of the best known such natural hallucinogens is ayahuasca, which is still used today by the indigenous people of the Amazon and Brazilian shamans when they conduct religious rites. Another huge plus of the blue lotus is that it does not need special care and conditions. In ancient Egypt, medicine, magic, and religion were very closely related to each other. To be honest, although people today have become more educated and no longer so wild, many still believe that diseases can be cured with the help of some kind of magical rituals and completely refuse to visit hospitals. The first mention of this flower, archaeologists noticed in the Egyptian Book of the Dead, and after they discovered the Ebus papyrus, where they found almost a thousand different recipes and methods of treatment using the blue lotus. It is a powerful aphrodisiac and was often used by the elite at secret meetings in temples, adding it to sacred wines. Its aroma is so beautiful that on the walls of the tomb, you can see images of people who inhale it. The blue lotus can be found in erotic papyruses. The mystery of the Basil mummy I already talked about this fine in one of my videos, but the story has changed. In 1975, in the Swiss city of Basel, in the Barthasa church, the mummified remains of a woman were found, and to this day it was believed that she died of syphilis. Such conclusions were made by researchers due to the fact that a lot of mercury was found in her body. In the 18th century, syphilis was treated with mercury. Hence, such conclusions were made. But now it was impossible to establish that the woman died from a bacterium unknown to science. The woman's name was Anna Katharina Bishop. She was the wife of a pastor and died in 1787. Using DNA analysis, researchers even identified her descendants. One of them, with a 99% probability, is British politician Boris Johnson. The scientists found a new bacterium that was most abundant in brain tissue, and this correlated with the highest concentration of mercury in the brain. Most likely, the doctor in those years made a wrong diagnosis and treated her for syphilis with mercury, which greatly weakened this woman's body. In addition, she was overweight, had gallstones, and other diseases. In the 18th century, it was too humiliating to claim that a wealthy priest's widow had sexually transmitted syphilis. When people of this status died, an obituary was written about them, who the person was during his lifetime, what he did, and what he died from. There was no mention of this woman. Bishop's diagnosis would have prevented her from using public bath or being treated in a regular hospital. As a result, the mercury with which she was treated slowed down the decomposition and turned her into a mummy. Roman Sarcophagus Half a kilometer from the sea in the Gaza Strip, archaeologists discovered an ancient sarcophagus. The ancient Roman cemetery was found in 2022. Its area is 3,500 square meters. And for the entire period of excavations, French and Palestinian archaeologists managed to find 85 individual and collective burials. The sarcophagus was sent to the laboratory for further study. This will take at least two, three months. The good news is that it remained intact. Art artifacts and burials of the Roman, Byzantine, and Canaanite eras have already been found in this region. The finds in these places are amazing. Last year, a Palestinian farmer discovered the head of a 4,500-year-old statue of the Canaanite goddess Anit, while another farmer found a Byzantine-era mosaic in his garden. But these finds are not as ancient as those that I will talk about later. Tools of labor created before the advance of mankind. A 
a shocking find was discovered by archaeologists in Kenya. They found the oldest tools in the history of mankind. More precisely, they are older than the entire human race. The approximate age of artifacts is from 3 to 2.6 million years. They are older than the entire genus Homo, which appeared about 2.6 million years ago. Our species, Homo sapiens, is thought to have evolved about 200,000 years ago, so the creators of the found tools were not people and even direct ancestors of people. Next to the tools were found the teeth of Paranthropus, hominides which were distant relatives of men but not ancestors. Previously, archaeologists had no evidence that these creatures could make tools. It was believed that they, that they were very stupid. Over several years of excavations at the Nyayanga site, Kenya has already found 330 artifacts, 1,776 animal bones, and two teeth of hominides. Archaeologists have found hippopotamus bones. This suggests that Paranthropes hunted large animals, but the meat was eaten raw because no traces of fire were found. It is amazing. We have many different events throughout our lives. We learn to walk, talk, get an education, work, create a family, and 3 million years ago there were some humanoid creatures that could not even make fire. They lived on this planet like wild animals and at the same time, they are considered our very distant relatives. Rate this video with your thumbs up or down and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for your views. Bye, everyone!